a power school hand clap for you. Amen. Uh, she allowed Javier to use her. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, apostles and pastors and preachers that are true preachers and men and women of God are quite capable of leading men and women, you know, to the Lord. Amen. That's what, that's what we're supposed to do. You know, you don't make, you can't come under the conclusion that all male pops, the only one they can talk to or speak to, are just men. Amen. Or that the women can only speak to women. No, when you sir. get back into that category that, that hey, well, you know, uh, a woman can't preach or a woman can't preach to a man and a man can't preach to a woman. You can't. And there's fallacy there. Amen. Amen. Apostle Amen. Paul himself said, look, I we're not capable of leading women, of guiding women. I Amen. Said, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But see, if you're unholy, see, that's that's where the problem comes in when you become unholy, mm -hmm. when you become unrighteous. That's right. Amen. When you become unholy and unrighteous, and you can't lead men and women because you lead them to hell because you got to, you're lusting, mm -hmm. you're flirting, you, you you know you have sexual relationships with them. A certain male can't even lead another male because what they they they're homosexual. They, they're female, come on. All right, come on. female, female. Okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. And I know some females feel more comfortable talking to a male than they do to a female, and some males. Feel more comfortable talking to a, a female, you know, than to a male, you know. I, I, have, I have apostles called the house all the time. I have apostles, pastors, and ministers, male and female. They call, amen. Sometimes they want to talk to a apostle. I don't have a problem with it. Amen. If they want to talk to a apostle, fine. I don't try to get into conversation here, see what they're trying to talk about, because why? It's got, they're supposed to be having a holy conversation. It's going to be Amen. between them. Okay, so, you know, I have no qualms. I make no apologies for what I do. Amen. 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 We're going to be, oh, thank you, in the book of Enoch today again. Amen. I see y'all already ready, you know. Anybody know where we left off at? What's the page? Uh, 48. Uh, let's say you close at uh, chapter forty eight. You're saying 48. page forty eight, but I know you mean chapter forty eight. Chapter forty eight. That's right. We begin at uh, chapter forty nine. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Chapter forty eight. Forty eight. Uh, chapter forty eight. Verse one. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the uh, Hebrew, the word Enoch uh, is, is Hanak. Hanak. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's Hanak. Amen. We know who Hanak was or Enoch is. Amen. Now, as I try to tell people, you need to get into the Word of God and understand where these books are coming from for yourselves too. Amen. Don't just, you know, arbitrarily take it, you know, well, hey, well, that's the chief apostle, that's the apostle, that he's absolutely right. Okay. I'm supposed to be right. But you have to research the word for yourself. He told us to study the word for ourselves, to study these scriptures, you know, to find ourselves what approved. Amen. Amen. To find ourselves approved. I said, I know, and I truly believe that they're right. But you have to be convicted on your own. Amen. Yes. That's why you must get into the word of God. We all must get into the word of God. For ourselves, we must have that relationship with Abu Yahweh for ourselves, with Yeshua HaMashiach for ourselves. It's a personal relationship. You cannot get in in the kingdom of God on my doing, mm -mm. on somebody else's doing. No, sir. Amen. Amen. We must get on uh, on our own doing, yes, on our relationship. That's the only way that it's going to suck, you know. Uh, how do we know him? Yes, you can't go on my belief. You have to go on your belief. Yes, Amen. You know, we have to go on our own beliefs. 
I can't go in on apostles belief. I can't get into the kingdom of God on apostles belief. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know. God's not going to ask me, what is she? I, I believe because she believed. That ain't going to make it. What did I believe? What did I do? And see, I have to go by, that's what I be always going to go by, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Amen. We Mother ain't going to get on on Hattie's belief, and Hattie's not going to get in on, on Mother's belief. Amen. Amen. We're going to be judged for what we do, yes. what we think. Amen. And that's for anybody. Amen. 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 See, and so we got to be, we're supposed to be leading people what, in all the truths. Mm -hmm. And this ain't no partial truths and stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah, we can't be sitting up there, you know, going in the Mickey D's or McDonald's and uh, other hamburger joints, got a newspaper and dressed up in suits and we ain't studying the Word of God. You know, we out there whore hopping and stuff. You know, that's really what you're in there for, whore hopping. Mm -hmm. And you can't lead your people in the truth. So it takes time to get into this word. Yeah. You, had to, you had to spend time with uh, uh, yeah, We had to spend time with Yeshua how said. Yeah. You had to have time. Amen. Amen. And you had to say, it. You, you, uh, it's the wonderful thing about our Lord and Savior, He lets you set up a time schedule with Him. Because He's always available. Sure he is always available. Yes, Lord. You know, whatever time we say, okay, hey, I'm going to be there. That's what He said, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You make the time, and He'll be there. Yes, Lord. See, we're without excuses, you know. Well, I'm too tired. Well, you know you're too tired at 6 o'clock in the evening or 6 o'clock uh, in the morning to say, well, pick a tie. When you know that you're not tired. Mm -hmm. When you know that you can give him your full attention. Pick a tie. Pick a tie. Mm -hmm. You know, choose a time. Choose an hour. Ain't nobody got to know. Amen. That's between you and I'll be That's right. Amen. That's between you and Yeshua Hamasaya. Pick a time. He said, I'll lead you and I'll guide you. What? In all truth. All truth. And he will. See, we without excuses. I know that at a certain time of day, <clears throat> if I had studied, I'm not going to study. I know this already. It's a bit of distraction. You know, I know, I know the most time at 10, 11 o'clock in the afternoon uh, or in the mornings and stuff like that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to study it then. Uh, There's it, too many distractions for me, too much going on for me, you know. And, 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 and I'm not saying that to justify anything, but I know me yes. and what I'm going to do and what I'm probably not going to do. Yes, Lord. And I'm not going to be a hypocrite with yes. the Word of God. Uh -uh. I'm not going to be a hypocrite to our Lord and Savior. Amen. You know. So I try to get up, I know at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, most time I don't have my mind on nothing but Him, so therefore that's a great time for me. You know, one o'clock, I get up, one thirty, whatever, you know. Amen. And I'll get up. Amen. Sometimes I'll spend an hour, sometimes two or three hours. It really just depends, you know, what he Amen. wants to take me to, you know. Uh, if he wanna keep me all day then, but once I done got up and make that appointment with him and I make that appointment, then the rest of the time that's it, what he wants to do. Yes. Amen. 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 But I gotta make sure I make my appointed time. And so we appoint a time to him and say, okay, Lord, if he wanna keep me on the eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock in the afternoon or past that, that's fine. You know. Cause then he already got me. But for me just to go up there and start, I know my mind ain't ain't is normally not gonna be there. I'm gonna be sitting up there concerned about this or that, trying to figure out do I need to do this or mm -hmm. whatever not, whatever I think I need to be doing, you know, it, it and it's a shame that it be about the cares of the world. But it will. But it will be. The work. So, the so, work. so the work that will be done. Amen. Amen. And that's a shame. Yes, it is. You know, it, it is a shame that, you know, I would let something like that get in my way, but it does. That's why you get up like you do. And that's why I get, get up the way I do and why I do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many forces out here. I had to have a quiet time. So many forces, so much evil and wickedness yes. 
that, that's on the attack. You know, I've been on attack for the past couple of weeks now. Amen. I've been on a serious attack, amen. amen. Attacking my mind, attacking my body, amen. you know. Amen. It's just, just, it's just that. The attack's going on. Amen. Amen. But then that's what the devil was supposed to do. Amen. Amen. But you have to have strength to fight off the attacks. Amen. You know, you have to have strength to go to war. So we're, all, we're all supposed to be Gavals or warriors. Amen. Amen. We, we're warriors. Amen. We are warriors in the army of Yeshua Hamasaiah. We are warriors in God's army. Amen. Yes. And so we have to learn to equip ourselves what? To fight. Yes. To fight the devil. To fight the demons. Because they want to overcome. They want to overtake. Amen. They want to. They want to surpass us. Amen. So true. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. True. Don't think these devils, these demons, are your friends. No, they're not. They're Amen. And any time that we don't want to obey God's words, then you're on the side of the devils and the demons. Mm -hmm. Amen. I ain't but two sides. I ain't but two arms. That's it. I ain't but two arms. We we either in Yeshua's army or we in the devil's army. That's it. Amen. Whoever bidding you doing, that's whose army you're in. Amen. And you can be in God's army and you can deflect if you want to or desert if you want to and yeah, you'll be in the devil's army. Mm -hmm. You better, if you're in the devil's army, you better desert the devil's army and get into God's army. Amen. And that's why the only way you can do that is through repentance. Amen. And by becoming obedient to the word of God. Amen. Living holy, living real. All foolishness, lies, thing, pathetic, all that stuff has got to be set aside. Amen. Even laziness has got to be set aside. Yes, sir. Got to all go. of it. Got to everything, everything that's just like Yeshua Hamasaiah, it's got to go. It has to go. In the name of Yeshua Hamasaiah. Amen. It's got to go. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'll be our way. I'll be our way. We're coming for you, most holy Father. Give me the thanks and give me the glory. Father, we thank you for your, you being with us this day, Abi Abba. We thank you for your mercy and grace that you have placed upon our lives. We thank you for the words that you have sent to us already this day, Abi Abba. And we thank you, Father, for the words to come. For, Father, we know that your word will lead us and guide us into your holy kingdom, Father. We will take heed and obey and do all the things that you tell us to do. We ask you right now, give us the strength, the mind. Father, to overcome all evil, all wickedness, Father, and to be completely obedient to you, subject to you, Father, mm -hmm. in a way that you are pleased with, Father, according to your perspectives. Help us, Abi Yahweh, to be doers of this word, Abi yes. Yahweh. Oh, livers of it, Father. Help Thank us, you. Father. Help us have a mind when we get up to be obedient. When we go to bed, to be obedient to you, I'll be our way. Or I'll be our way, even be with us while we're in our sleep, having our dreams, I'll be our way. Help us to fight, I'll be our way. Don't just let us, don't let us succumb to the devil, not even in our dreams, I'll be our way. No time. Help us to be warriors, I'll be our way. Standing on your holy word, Father. Being react. At all time, I'll be our way. Because you are power, you are glory, I'll be our way. And we thank you. And we overcome by your power, by your grace, and by your mercy. We are overcoming. We have victory in your powerful name. In the holy name of Yeshua Hamasaya, we do say, Amen and Amen. Amen. Thank you. We're going to go into a few things here today. Amen. When we hear the term pour it out like water, what do you think about? You know, pour it out like water. Uh, I was going through some of those thoughts in my mind. You pour out something like, like it's water, to me it seems like it's something inexpensive, something that we really don't care about. It's something don't that we think you really appreciate it, you know. Don't appreciate it. Huh? You don't really appreciate it. You know, cause, cause you know, milk. You try to if it's more milk, you gotta be careful with your milk, your sodas, you know, uh, your your food. You know, you you, you be careful with it. You know, water. But with water, you kind of you know, well, it's just water. Mm -hmm. 
don't don't appreciate it. You're right. You don't appreciate it. Don't, you don't accept the value that it really is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what you know. Like a lot of times, the if people you know receive the word of God like it's just being poured out like water. You know. Like it don't really mean anything. That you don't have to take heed to it. That it really has yeah. no value. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know. But we are gonna understand that water's got a whole lot of value. Yes, sir. Water, water is life. Amen. So we better understand. You know, without water, you're not you're not gonna really make it in this world. Without water, you go up there. You know. And, and don't get water, have water to drink. You know, you die of thirst. Yeah, yes. Amen. You die of dehydration. Mm -hmm. Amen. Water. You can't grow plants without water. You can't you go pour some milk on the plants and see if they're going to grow. Water flushes out the kidneys. That's right. It flushes flush out, it cleanses the body. Mm -hmm. Inside, internally, and externally. Amen. You know, water has what? Plenty of value. You know, you know, see, we better understand, you know, what this water is about. Amen. You know, because, so see, people want to take water lightly and cannot take water lightly. No, That's like they want to take the Word of God lightly, but we cannot take the Word of God lightly. You know, it is precept upon precept, concept upon concept. Amen. Thought upon thought. Yes, it Amen. Is. If we want life. Yes. Amen. See, we better make sure that we want to what? Choose life. Yes. You know, it's the easy thing. Go up there and choose death. If you choose death, then you just do whatever you want to do. Amen. Yes. Don't think that you can't change. Amen. People think, they, oh, I, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. You're not going to change. You're going to end up going to that burning hell because God is not going to accept us unless we change. We got to drink what? The living water. Amen. Amen. We got we to gotta, we gotta drink it. We got to eat this whole road. Amen. Amen. I pray, I pray that I'll be out with, you know, that's like getting all these other books and stuff, you know. He said, I want you to eat the whole roll. He takes me to this book, that book, and this book. He said, eat the whole roll. Here's more to it. Eat it. You know. Amen. And see, you have to compare. See, see and, and we have a fire and foundation in the uh, Holy Tanaka, the King James Version, but they, you know, they said they took out some. I, I had to research that. What, they, they took it out. Why? See, that's, that's, the, that's the thing there. Why did they take it out? What, who's behind it, you know? The Catholic Church. You know, you find out that demonic sources have been in effect ever since the scriptures have been written. They want to destroy the people of God, the children of God. Mm -hmm. Because they do not want God's people mm -hmm. to make it into the kingdom. No one to know Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's it, man. Well, first, you really got to be, hey, you got to be getting, uh, 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 do what's in the 66 books also. That's right. All, you know, all of it. All of it's got to be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All of it. If you're not doing all of the 66, then, the, you know, the other books that are missing, they're really not going to do you any good. Amen. 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 So true. See? If you don't believe that, how you gonna believe the rest of it? Well, Amen. That's it now. Yeah, let's go 49 and 1. For wisdom is poured out like water, and esteem filled, not before him, for eternity. See, wisdom and esteem would work. We're not being what believed in. Mm -hmm. They were not given highly. They failed. People don't appreciate the wisdom mm -hmm. and the knowledge that it be given. They don't appreciate the word of God. Oh, have mercy on me. See, we gotta appreciate all of God's word and everything that He says. 
Amen. Amen. Everything they tell us to do, we, we need to find ourselves doing it. We're not doing it. Lord, help me to do it. When the word comes forth and it, and, it, and it finds us, well, don't get mad at the word. Get mad at ourselves and repent of our sins and our wickedness and find ourselves doing as he tells us to do. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. It's a fight. It's a battle going on for our soul. The devil does not want us to believe the word of God. He wants us to go ahead and think that, hey, I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm clean. And we're nothing but filthy rags. Before our Lord. Sure How enough. can we be clean? Sure enough. Huh? Instead of being purged and clean daily. That's a daily thing. That's what he said. For he is mighty in all the secrets of righteousness. For he is mighty. God. Huh? Wisdom is mighty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? In all the secrets of righteousness. Everything that's righteous, wisdom is there. So we need to be what? Seeking wisdom. And what is wisdom? The fear of God. The fear of Adonai. Yes. No. We should not want to get lazy on the word of God. Amen. 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 Yeah. We know... A lot of times we know we're going to study in, in Bible study and stuff. And so therefore we should go already have a preconcept of what the Word is going. We need to go ahead on beforehand and see, read the Word, and, and then have some input. Mm -hmm. Prepare ourselves See, we say that we love God. Then, you know, we want to get a better understanding. Then we, when we study God and we ask God to teach us and, and tell us, then when Bible study time comes, and the word comes up, we say, oh, see, oh, okay, then, did I hear right from God? Oh, yeah, I heard right from God, but that's, that's what God has told me. Mm -hmm. And it's coming out again. See, see, it's more, see, we got to learn how to draw well closer to God. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. We know the things that please us, Yeshua, how i say We know the things that please us, uh, Yahweh. And so therefore we should make him strive what to please him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. How we come how we come to the house of God, how we come to Bible studies, how we come, you know, not prepared or not wanting to participate. Huh? That does not make sense not to want to participate with Abba Yahweh. Amen. You know, again, you know, that's just, again, that's one, one body. Mm -hmm. One body. Yes. You know, I don't care what part of the body it is, you know, we need every part. You, you need your fingernails. Yes. We need our fingernails. They're, they're important. Yes. You know. Our eyelashes is important. Everything serves uh, 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 it, it serves the body. It serves the members of the body. Everything on our body serves has a purpose. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, everything on our body is important. Yes, it is. It is Lord. Amen. So let one part who the eyes say, well, look, you know, hey, I'm going to take the day off, so I don't want to see the day, and you got to go up there, and you got to be uh, cutting meat, or you got to hang on the saw. So the eyes say, look, uh, uh, I, I'm not working today, I don't care, but you still got to do the hair say, well, we're going to go ahead and use the saw anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the cutting. Mm -hmm. I want to work it down. <laughs> Cut everything off. Not the eye. See, understand that everything and everyone in the body of Christ, in the body of Yeshua Hamasaya, is needed. That we would have to be a help one to another. Amen. We're supposed to be a help. 
not a hindrance, not pulling apart. Nothing, well, okay, hey, look, the hand got it. But the finger said, well, I ain't doing that because the hand got it. Huh? Well, okay, the hand said, well, finger said, well, I'm going to help the hand. The feet said, well, I ain't moving. And this may all seem silly to you what I'm speaking to us, but understand that we all got to be participants yes. in the body of Yeshua, Hamaseya. Mm -hmm. All that saying that we love Yeshua, Hamaseya, all that said that we love Adonai, we got to be participants, we got to be doing our part. Yes. Amen. If we're not doing our part, then we're not part of the body. Yeah. You're dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. mm -hmm. Everything that's dead falls off the body. Yes. That's why you see you see that skin. The skin is renewing itself on a daily basis, moment by moment. The skin is what renewing itself. So the skin sheds. Yes, sir. Sure do. No it's dead. It's of no longer of any use mm -hmm. to the body, so it has to go. Mm -hmm. Everything in the body is living. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, you don't want to be shed off the body of Yeshua Hamasek. I don't. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says, and unrighteousness shall disappear as a shadow and have no continuance. Now understand this. Unrighteousness. Huh? Shall what? Disappear. All right. It's going to disappear. It's going to be destroyed, in other words. Everything that's not like the sure Hamas said is going to be destroyed. It's going to be shed away. It's going to be like a shadow. Yeah. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to see it anymore. No use. He says, because the elect one, who's the elect one? That you sure how much said, stands before Yahweh of hosts. That's the Adonai. Elohim. And his esteem is forever and ever. And his might unto what? All, All generations. generations. The power goes into all generations. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So we better understand whom we're serving and why we're serving him. Amen. Amen. See, there's only one way out of hell. Amen. It's not to go there. That's the only way out. It's not to go there in the first place. That's the only way out of hell. Amen. It's not to get there. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's not to go there. Because mm -hmm. once you're there, there is no out. That's it. There ain't but one way. Okay. And so, we have to make up with our mind that, hey, we're not going to hell. I know, I made up my mind a long time ago that I'm not yes. going to hell. Yes, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. I know how I was before I got saved, before I got delivered. I know how I was. And I'm not going back that way. Because that's the way of evil. That's the way of wickedness. Yes. Called a wicked man. I was an evil man. I was a sinner. All sin to me is wickedness. It is, yes, sir. Okay. Well, that you were not a person. No, I was wicked. If I was not a band God, if I was not a band of Dana, if I was not a band Yeshua Hamasaya, I was playing no wicked. Amen. I was playing no evil. There ain't no nice about it. Come on. That's right. There's nothing nice about it. There's nothing nice about going to hell on your way to hell. No, sir. Nothing nice about it. It's not. There's nothing nice about not lining up with the Word of God. No, sir. There's nothing nice about being a liar, a thief, a whole woman. Yes. Nothing nice about it. Amen. 
And a lot of people say, well, at least I wasn't doing this, I wasn't doing that. It don't make any difference what you were doing, what you, uh, what you weren't doing. Sin yeah. is sin. Sin is sin. All of them going to take you to hell. Right so there's nothing nice about you. Nothing good about you. Amen. Come on here. Never said sin was good. And never will. Amen. Well, he gave money, he got money, all that type of stuff. There ain't nothing good about that. If, you, if you're not, you know, safe, you're not delivered. You're on your way to hell. Amen. Guess what? In hell, they got a spot for the rich man. In hell, they got a spot for the poor man. And guess what? Both of them look the same. And both of them going to feel the same pain. The same pain of torment. Sure No difference. You had nice clothes up here uh, on this earth. When you go to hell, you ain't going to have to worry about no clothes. You can have poor clothes and uh, ragged clothes here on earth, but you make it to hell, you ain't gonna hey, you ain't gonna have to worry about what kind of clothes you got. Because you don't have none. It'll we'll be all burned off of you. Your soul is gonna be burned. Your soul. Your soul is gonna be on fire. Yes. That soul is gonna be tormented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It said, in him dwells the spirit of wisdom, and the spirit which gives insight. It says, in him dwells the spirit of wisdom. Well, it says, it's the body, the, 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 the spirit oh God. of God that dwells in him, in, in Yeshua Hamasaya, in his, in his elect one. The spirit of wisdom. He has all wisdom. He has all knowledge. Mm -hmm. He tells us nothing wrong. Amen. He'll bring us into his perfection if we allow him to, if we were here, but we have to hear, we have to take heed. We have to do. We have to we have to learn how to shed our own stupidness. And that's something that we don't like to do. We don't like to shed our stupidness. See? So we want to think that, hey, well, I, I'm all of this, I'm all smart, I don't got, I got so much wisdom, I got so much knowledge, and I'm all of this and I'm all of that. You can't tell me nothing about this, you can't tell me nothing about that. I'm not going to say that. Mm -mm. No, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to listen to what you have to say. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen. I'm going to listen to what God has to say. Now, whether I accept it or receive it, that might be two totally different things. Mm -hmm. But anything and everything... That you sure how Messiah says to us, we not only better listen, we better take heed yes. and obey it and do just as he says to do. Yeah. Uh, everybody want to think, well, you know, you go to college, went to college, went to school and all that, but he got all all, all the book sense. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I, you know, I went to school uh, and I went to college, and when I went to uh, become a funeral director of a funeral school, uh, you know, they teach you all different types of courses. They teach you courses on how to run a business, how to have a business, but uh, accounting, you know, how to handle the books and stuff like that to make sure that, you know, everything, all your money is balanced and all that type of stuff. They teach you all this, okay? But guess what? Now, my wife, now she did go to college. Yeah, you went to college. Yeah, you went to college. About two months. Well, that's all. You still attended a little bit of college. Got a little bit of college. She passed and got to high school and all that type of stuff like that, right? But she didn't go to the degree that I went to. That's what I'm trying to get to. Okay? She didn't go to the degree that I went to. Amen? Amen. And so, and a lot of business managers, you probably would think that I, I would be the better one and, and, and all that type of stuff. But because of Yeshua Hamasia has given her a gift with handling books and stuff and handling the accounts and stuff like that, guess who takes care of the books at the house? I do. She do. Yeah. I allow her to take care of all of that. Because she don't mind doing it, she's dedicated to it, and she's going to make sure that it's done what? 
rightly. Amen. 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 See, it has been a, a help me. It's okay. too. And I understand some things about mother, you know. I understand mother's educational level and stuff like that, but who handled the business in the house is mother. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, because of the gift that you sure had given her to be able to handle such business and stuff like that. Yeah. You see, those, those are gifts. Those are godly gifts. Mm -hmm. And so you can't take the godly gifts lightly. No, you can't. You know. And, we, and, and, and you know, some people say, well, you know, no, I, I went to school, I did this and I did that. But sometimes you cannot do, you, and in no time can you outdo what God gives. That's right. <laughs> See, a lot of people want to go up there and call it Mother Wit. You know. I call it Yeshua. I call it a gift of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. It's a gift. That's yes. right. From Yeshua. From Yeshua. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so we better use wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to seek wisdom. Yes. You know, with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul. Yes. Let's get out of stupidity. Yes. Amen. 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 Now, then we've been saying before, things get ready, get ready to change rapidly. And so everything that comes into our hands right now. From here on out, you better start using it wisely. Mm -hmm. You better start wasting. Amen. Amen. Better start working together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Can't just go out there and just be spending. Don't be spending all your money on junk and all this type of stuff. It's nonsense. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. Amen. Better work together if we could have something. For at least hey, for a little while, for a period of time. Mm -hmm. Amen. The money that you're spending on, 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 on candy and, and uh, cookies and potato chips and all that, you spend a lot on it. I don't say don't get none. That's right. Yeah. I'm not saying don't get none. I'm saying, but spend wisely. Mm -hmm. Because you, sell that, you need to start putting some of that money to start buying extra gas mm -hmm. for your house. That's right. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Looking at other energy sources, see what you can do to have energy. Stay warm and cool. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, you start to use your money to, to try to improve your house and stuff like that. Amen. 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 You start to say, hey, don't worry about what the insurance company said, putting a wood stove back in your house. Amen. You see, you got, you got these things that we need to be doing. Amen. You got to start it out for yourselves. Amen. Amen. But you got to start using wisdom, but it's going to take what? Teamwork. Yep. Amen. Everybody got to learn how to work as a team and get out of meism. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. And if you see one, you've been out there, nobody because they got the money. They go, go get it. Amen. Uh-huh. They'll beat you too. Amen. Don't, don't get it, but you, but don't live with it. Amen. Put it on railway, make a deal, mm -hmm. get it. Amen. Anybody know what you deal with? Hey, put it in your house. Get it set up. Ready to use. You ought to use it right then, but you get it ready to be used. Amen. To be used. Set it up. Amen. Yes. Kerosene lamps. Here we get all this stuff. Start preparing. We know the time's coming. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It is coming. Stop giving your money away. Amen. Amen. Stop stealing and giving money away. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, number three, 
And in him dwells the spirit of wisdom and the spirit which gives insight. And what is insight? Things to see beforehand, foresee. Amen. Showing you the future. Showing things about to happen, insight. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. See. And what? The spirit of understanding. God has given us the spirit of understanding. Understanding all this word, where he's coming from, what we need to be doing, how to get right with him. Giving us this opportunity, a fantastic opportunity, which he does not have to give to us. You, you know, we take for granted that God just got to, God wants to give us this. Because he wants us to spend eternity with him. Yes. But will we do what he says so that we can spend eternity with him? It's all right when we come to the house of God, when we come to the temple of God, and we go up there. And we say, oh, well, I'm in agreement with the Word, I'm in agreement with the Word, but when we go home, it's totally different things. Yes. Or when we get out of the midst of the house or the temple, we get out of the midst of the people of God, then we, we're doing something totally different. Can't do it. I know I got to live, react seven days a week, 24 hours a day, every minute and every second of the day. I got to be react. Amen. You know, I, I, I got to be striving to be react. When I get up, I got to be react. When I go to bed, I got to be react. When I'm sleeping, I got to be react. While I'm sleeping, even, I got to be react. I got to be holding. Show he says, The spirit of understanding and of might, and the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness. You see, you can't, have, you can't be falling asleep in righteousness. You know, we got to be alert. Yes. Amen. Amen. Can't fall back on the word of God. Amen. Amen. And he shall judge the secret matters. Everything that's in us, all those, everything that's in us, everything that we think about, everything, is going to be brought to the light. Yes. Nothing is going to be hidden. Nothing. It's like I'm going to get it right now. I come, let's go ahead and repent. And get it right, right now. Those that were hurt, Repent to him if we can and get it right. Amen. No? You know, when you show sure preaching and, 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 and Simon, a uh, little short man, went up there and said, Look, I, Lord, I, I'm going to repent of all my sins. If I've done anybody wrong, then I'm, hey, I'm going to give them uh, 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 back their money and, 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 you know, two or three times more than what they gave that I took from them. He said, I'm going I'm to I'm get it right. Yes. When he said it. And see, we got to do likewise. We need to get yes. things right. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Because that's the true repentance. Amen. You know, Big Mama, she would say, hey, look, you know, I had to get it right. I, I know I might hurt some people. I know they might be mad with the things that I did, but I had to get it right. She got it right. And she didn't, and she wasn't just what talking. She did. She had action. She put action behind it. She went to yeah. the look, yes, I did this and I was wrong and I'm sorry. See, that's repentance. See, when we have a godly sorrow for the things that we have done. Amen. Hallelujah. See, she didn't care. She said, no, I got to get it right. He says, and none shall be able to utter a lying word before him. Mm -mm. He said, none, nobody. Uh -uh. You're not going to be able to lie before I be Yahweh. Hallelujah. You're not going to be able to lie before you see what I'm going to say. No, sir. 
You're not going to even be able to utter it. You ain't going to even be able to start it. Speak it. Come on. Come out. See. Well, yeah. That's a mighty God. See. See, everybody's going to go through judgment. Oh, yeah. And you're going to go up there and try to utter a lie, and, and you're not going to be able to. Yeah, you're going to come out. Mm -hmm. See, we serve a mighty God. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So we better learn how to get into the truth and speak truth now. Now. Hallelujah. Today, come on here. This very moment. Amen. Thank you, Yeshua. You put all the lying ways aside. Yes, sir. All those thieving ways aside. Hallelujah. All the whoring ways aside. Hallelujah. All the lusty ways aside. All the adulterous ways aside, you better, hey, all of them got to go. Stop. Come to an end. Because judgment is going to be pure. Yes, it is. Always pure. God is pure. The word is going to be what? Pure. Pure, yes. He judges us rightly. No matter to say. Yes, he does. He says, for he is the elect one. Before Yahweh a host, according to his good pleasure. See, yes. according to Yeshua's good pleasure, amen. He's going to be yes. the judge, he knows. Yes, he is. Number 50. Number 50. Chapter 50. And what? Glorification. And in those days, a change shall take place. For the Kodesh and elect, for the holy ones. Kodesh is the holy ones. Yes. And the light of days shall abide upon them, and esteem and honor shall turn to the Kodesh. See, we're going to come back to the holiness, righteousness, esteem, wanting to be held in honor. In the glory of Yeshua HaMaseah, in the light, His glorious light, shall be upon us. It's the kind of glory. On the day of affliction, on which evil shall have been treasured up against the sinners, and the righteousness shall be victorious, excuse me, and the righteous shall be victorious in the name of Yahweh of hosts. Notice, in the day of affliction. That's the judgment day. He says, they have been treasured up against the sinner. All your sins have been stored up, in other words. All, you know, if you're a sinner, every sin, every wicked way, you're going you're gonna to have to ask for it. You don't repent of them, get them washed away in the sea of forgiveness. You're going to have to ask for every sin. Amen. Every sin that you've done from a baby until the time that you uh, deceased. Amen. That you died. You are to answer for every sin. Where yes. would you? Now in a sense, because their sins, they cause you have repented of our because we have repented of our sins, they have been forgiven. Mm -hmm. They have been thrown into the sea our of sin. forgiveness. Yes, sir. Amen. They're no longer remembered in God's sight. Amen. Amen. So you don't have to answer for anything. Because we're both covered by the blood of Yeshua Hamasek. He's been our lawyer, Hallelujah. our attorney. Amen. Thank you, Yeshua. Hallelujah. He's been our mediator. Thank you, Yeshua. He's talked for us. Yes, Yes, Lord. But the sinners, they don't have nobody to talk for. Mm -hmm. And sinners have not been forgiven because you didn't ask for them. Didn't you want said them. you wanted to pay for them. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. And pay your share. I don't want to pay for them. Oh, Jesus. Pay your share. Because why? 
we had the opportunity, you had the opportunity to give them up. Yes. To repent of Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop. He says, and it will cause the others to witness that they may repent and abandon the works of the hands. You're going to say, hey, others are going to be looking at you and seeing the things and tortures that you're going through and say, hey, some of some people are going to want to repent then. And you may give them an opportunity. Today yes. is the day to get it right. Amen. They shall have no honor through the name of Yahweh of hosts. Yet through his name shall they be saved. And Yahweh of hosts will have compassion on them. For his compassion is great. God says, look, I love you. I know you're a sinner. I know you're walking in wickedness. Mm -hmm. I know the evil that you have done. Yes. All I'm asking you to do is say that you're sorry. Hallelujah. That you repent. Yes, sir. I know you can't cleanse yourself up, so I'm going to help you clean yourself up. Uh, I have what? Great compassion. Uh, I have great patience with you. I have a great love for you to come overcome your sin. Uh, and I'll make it so that you won't sin no more if you allow me to come in and operate what in you. See, that's how we have to have a personal relationship with Yahweh, well, we, well, we got to have a personal relationship yeah. with Yeshua HaMaseya. So that He can allow the Holy Ghost, oh, the Riyadh HaKadosh, to come in Thank and operate in us, to purge us and cleanse us, and keep us out of that tormented place oh, called Sheol or called Hell. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, See, don't think that, hey, we're all of this and we're all of that. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you. Do you understand what a loving and wonderful yes. Lord and Savior that we have, a God that we have, Almighty God, that He has. Thank you. He loves us, His creation, so much. Hallelujah. He said, if you will only repent, I will have compassion on you. I will forgive you of your sins. See, we don't have to go to hell. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And we say that, you know, people choose to go to hell. People choose to disobey the Word of God. Man, I don't pray the Word of God. Hallelujah! Tell me what thus says the Lord, and that's it. We can accept it or not accept it. But Abu Yahweh said, I put preachers yes. for you. I put preachers before you that I want you to have. Hallelujah. I put my preachers before you. Hallelujah. See, because Abu Yahweh preachers, they're not going to uh, uh, play with the word of God. They're going to be doers of the words themselves. We understand that it is a two-edged sword, that the word is going to cut us as well as it cuts anybody else. We understand that we're not perfect. We're not all of this and all of that. Yes, yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 We understand that it's a, a lonely walk sometimes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Welcome. See, I'm used to being alone. I got, I got my own little world that I have that I'm in most of the time. I got my own little world. Amen. Don't mind. Show down. I don't mind mine either. Uh -huh. Work uh, I work. I do. I do what I need to do, and and then hey, I'm through. I'm in my own little world, and, and I'm all right in there. Yes, sir. Amen. I have to talk to you, sure, and and keep on going. I, hey, I, and I'm good. I ain't got to be sitting up there running up and down the street with so-called friends. They don't want to do no good. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't running up and down the street chasing after hoes or being a hoe. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 
I ain't got to be over the phone being a hoe. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I ain't going to be no secret hoe. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to be a whole kid. Hallelujah. I don't care. Hey, my, hey, my phone, you know, my phone, hey, you know, the phone, you know, I tell you the combination, I, I, I put the combination and let you have over the phone for you and give the phone to you. Mm -hmm. And you can go through it, I don't care. Amen. Amen. I ain't got nothing to hide. Amen. Amen. You can go through every message that's on there. I don't care. I, don't, I ain't got time to reach. I don't even know how to, uh, uh, somebody told me, uh, 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 send a message and then erase and delete. I don't even know how you delete a message. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know how you delete a message. I don't know how you delete a message when you start it. Don't even care. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't need, hey, well, you know, hey, if, I, if a message I send, if, you know, what well, I got to delete it for? There should not be nothing that, that, that I have to go to and delete. You know, if I said it, I said it. Amen. If I didn't say it, then I didn't say it. Yes, sir. You know, I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody, but hey, take it, look, see. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't do anything about other people's intent, but I can do what I can do about Norman. Yeah. yeah. I pray. I pray constantly pray for Norman. Thank you, I'll be out with Crazy. Thank you, Lord. And he would Number four. And he is righteous also in his judgment. Yes, he is. You sure is righteous in his judgment. His judgment is sure. Yes, it is. He said, he said, he said, now, I come to the world, I don't, I don't come to judge, but I come to save. But he said, if I were to judge, then my judge would be what? Righteous. righteous. It would be true. His judgment would be pure. Because what? We the one, we judge ourselves. He said, by our very words and the things that we have said, the things that we have done, that's what's going to judge us. Amen. That's it. Our very deeds. Mm -hmm. As I say, we are wonderfully designed. These minds of ours, these brains of ours, do not forget a thing. No. As I say, you may not know how to, uh, which, which button to push to recall everything, but every word that we have ever spoken is recorded. In the order, and everything that we have heard is recorded in here. Yes. Everything that we have ever seen, anything that we ever did, is recorded right here. Amen. 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 And it will tell us. Yes, it will. It will tell us. There's no hiding. Yes. There's no denying. The only thing God gonna do is He gonna say, "Here you go." You're not going to be denied, be able to deny what you said or didn't do. And so you won't? Every thought that we ever had, you know, whether we did anything about it or not, but every thought is there. Every thought that we ever had. And every thought on the subjection. Every thought. You're not gonna be denied. You're not gonna be denied. I didn't have that thought. I didn't think that was. Mm -hmm. You deny it for man, but you won't be able to deny it for you. Sure, how I'm gonna say it. Oh God, He knows everything. Yes, He does. Thank God. That That's why His judgment is righteous. Yes, it is. Yeah. He talks when he says, you know, I, I judge. I weigh the the heart matter. He's talking about what we think, what we do. Our very thoughts. What's in our heart? Yes. See, mm -hmm. we brought what to light. God said, "Bring every thought under subjection to who? To Yeshua Hamasek." Mm -hmm. See, we better understand that when He says precept upon precept, and word by word, that we got to do this word by word, precept upon precept. 
No, this ain't no prayer thing. We go around praying in church and stuff like that. You go to church and you pray in church, pray holy and pray righteousness, but that ain't gonna get you nowhere but to hell. Stop that playing. Oh, man, it was going on now, too much playing. No. You wanna go then you wanna go to uh, uh to your churches and uh, uh have a good time, you wanna see a couple of songs and uh, hear a, a couple of lies and and, 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 and then you want the preacher to lie to you, tell you you're all right, and then you want to go ahead on and think that you're saved. No. A lot of people cannot come here because they, we don't pray that. You want to get the truth, you want to get the word, what thus says the Lord, mm -hmm. and what you do with it, that's up to you. That's it. Amen. Preachers don't come here. Uh-uh. Preachers tremble before they come here. Amen. They ain't gonna come. They rather go. Preachers rather come go jump in a cesspool than come here uh -huh. and play in cesspool. That's all they had a good time. They rather go and be with the other homosexuals. Talk about they strength. Come on here. Where you come here? They scared of y'all. We ain't no bad. Uh, we ain't no bad. They scared of the word. That's what they're afraid of. They're not scared of us. They scared of the word. Uh huh. But we all want to steal my fire. God does it. Yeah, it ain't us. <laughs> it's all God. He mm -hmm. sets us on fire. He put us on fire. They look or they listen to they look and view our, our, our videos and stuff like that. Uh -huh. They hear, they see, they know what we stand for. I know what they want to talk about. They know what we stand we for. On the radios and stuff. We know what they don't hear it of. Uh-huh. So we do it every time. Yeah. Every one of them. There you go. From 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, uh -uh. They ain't gonna come here. Mm -mm. But they're gonna, they gonna know the truth. God said, well, if you heard it and you used that, why didn't you use the rest of it? You knew it was true. Why didn't you change? Mm -hmm. You know, when he was talking to uh, the Pharisees in the house, he said, well, was John uh, the immersion was his baptism from uh, is it was his immersion from heaven or was it of men? And and the and, and, and the I mean not Talmudim, but the Pharisees and Sadducees did not want to go there and answer the question. They said he uh, didn't want to answer the question because they know they said from heaven they go say well why didn't you believe why didn't you obey? And they said, then they said, well, if we say it's from the uh, pre, uh, uh, pre, uh, from from uh, earth, uh, earthly baptism, then they said uh, the people are gonna be against, they're gonna stone him because they the people believe that he was from God. So they didn't say nothing. So they said we can't say. They went into agreement. Come on. Uh huh. <laughs> they went into agreement. Lying. They don't want to say that. They ain't gonna say. Still being judged by God, cause they knew right. <laughs> cause you don't say something. When we know what is right, mm -hmm. we have to do that is right. Amen. Amen. It's, 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 you know, cause we're righteous people. That's it. Amen. I know. I know. Uh, I had a fight getting here today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been fighting. I've, Ooh, I, I, I had to make, make I, was, I was determined I was going to make it today. If I had to crawl in here today, I was going to make it. Amen. I, 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 I was going to make it. Amen. Uh, I, I was tired yesterday, but, I, but it, it, it was a fight for me just to be at that Bible study uh, yesterday evening. Last night. Last night. Yesterday. Amen. It was. It was a fight for me. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was fighting just, just to make it there. Amen. Sure. Amen. Amen. And I'm sure enough fighting this morning. Everything was coming down on me this morning. Amen. Yeah, I mean everything. Last few minutes, everything was just, just going loose. Sure. Amen. Sure. Everybody, them demons up. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I had to have Apostle pray for me and everything. So, amen. 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 Because what the scripture say? It say, if you're sick, then take it to the elders and let them pray over you. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen, Lord. 
Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And in the presence of his esteem, unrighteousness also shall not maintain itself. Righteous King Stain. At his judgment, the unrepentant shall perish before him. See, if you don't want to repent, right before you go, you go, you, you're not going to be able to stand before God. Say what? You shall what? Perish. Perish before him. Before you. You shall be destroyed. You shall no longer exist in his eyes. You're gonna be in that burning hell. Amen. Amen. All sinners. Don't want to repent of your sins. And repent means to be godly sorrowful for those things that we have done against yes. the Yeshua, against His Word, against His truth, Hallelujah. and that we don't want to do them again, that we're asking Him for help to help us not to do these things again. Amen. And not just saying, I'm sorry, you keep on doing the same thing it's over and over again. It's not sorrow. That is not repentance. No, sir. Repent is not dancing all around the church on my outside and you're still doing the same thing. No, sir. No change. No change. Repent is not justifying your lies or faults or anything like that. It's not no, repentance. Sir. No change. There's no justification in our sins, no, in sir. our wicked ways. Hallelujah. I don't care who we are. Amen. Come on. Whatever you sure. Abba Yahweh had called a sin. I guarantee you, it is a sin. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is weakness. Yes, it is. Okay, how you try to sweeten it up or how you try to dress it up, it is still a sin. Yes. Can't sweeten it, can't dress it. It's just as ugly as it want to be. It's sin. That's right. And sin is ugly. There ain't no justification for it. Amen. Amen. It's all going to perish for Hallelujah. He says, and from here on, I will have no compassion on them, says Yahweh of hosts. See, if you don't repent, if you don't repent, and God says, I'm not going to have any compassion on you. I'm not going to feel any sorrow for you. I'm not going to have any pity for you. God, man, God. Well, I ain't God. Yes, sir. I told you what your sin is, and you don't want to repent. You don't want to do the things that I say. I'm not going to have any compassion for you. I've given you an opportunity to get it right with me. I therefore, you decided that you wanted to go against me and that you didn't want me. So, therefore, I will not have any compassion for you. I will utterly destroy you. Yes, you don't want to have an angry God. I don't. Going against you. No, sir. I shouldn't shoot. I don't. I let alone angry. I don't want God to be mad at me. I don't. I don't in fact. I am okay. saying that I don't even want Abba Yahweh to be upset with me. That's what I was mm -hmm. upset. That's what I was upset. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Nothing. I, I want to be, whenever he looks at me, I don't care whatever I'm doing, I want him to be pleased. I want him to be happy when he sees me doing yes, it. Amen. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. That, that's the position I want to always be in. Yeah, that I'm being, wow. that I am a. Please say to him that whenever he looks down on you. No. I don't want to be found doing nothing evil, nothing wicked, nothing sinful, nothing displeasing to God. Nothing. Nothing. I want all my thoughts to be pure before I be out with. My every thought. If I know that I don't have right thoughts when I get angry, I don't want to get angry. Hallelujah. 
Amen. That, that, that's, I mean, for real. That's it. God ain't going to do God ain't going to do wrong. You know, you don't sin, but if it brings the wrong thought upon you, that's that's really a sin. Yes, it is. Amen. If we bring the wrong thought upon him, if, you know, uh, we get so mad that we want to kill a person or we want to hurt somebody, that's that's a sin. Yes, it is. And so we need to bring that under suggestion. Under control. Yes, Lord. See? Everything's got to be brought under. I, I, I know that we're not perfect, and I understand that, 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 that you know we're not doing all these things, but we got to strive to be perfect. Mm -hmm. We got to strive to be pure. And you got to get that thing out of your mind. Well, I'm only human. You got to get that out of our mind. Amen. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I'm not perfect. I got to be. We got, we got to be. Jesus, yes. when he appears, we shall be just like him. Mm -hmm. And if you're not trying to be, Come on. then you're not striving. Amen. If you're not striving, it's because you don't want to be. Amen. You want to fall on excuses. They're excuses, they ain't going to work. Oh, they won't work. They're simply not going to work. No, sir. See. All sin. It's got to be eradicated in our lives. Amen. Every wicked way has got to be eradicated in our lives. In other words, it's got to be destroyed in our lives. Yes, yes Lord. Hallelujah. we got to become what? A destroyer of sin. Amen. Come on. Have to root it up. Say it down. Amen. Thank you, Yeshua. 51. And 1. And in those days, shall the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it. And the grave also shall give back that which, we was, which it has received. And Gehenna shall give back that which it gives. For in those days the elect one shall arise. So the grave got to give up. Hell got to give up. Mm -hmm. Everything going to be judged. Amen. Yes. Everything's going to be judged. Yes. Don't think you're getting away with anything. Nothing. Amen. My Lord, my Lord. We, we, we better be repentant of all sin, all weakness. And we better yes. be striving yes. to live react, to live righteously. Yes. Every moment, every second, every breath. If when I take my last breath, I want my last breath to be a righteous and react breath. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. I want it to be. Yes. And since we don't know when our last moment is going to be, I suggest that we be righteous and react at all times. Yes. That means I want to be righteous and react at what? All times. Yes. Amen. He says, and he shall choose the righteous and Kodash from among them. For the day has drawn near that they should be saved. Now remember how long ago this has been. This book was written now. The day has drawn near. So we're just talking a couple of days ago. And you're sure as I said. And it says the day is drawn near. So it was close then. Don't you think it's a whole lot closer now? Huh? Think about it. Amen. Think about it. We're in perilous time. Look around us. Think of, and look at all the evil that we see going on all around us. Yes. Man over there in Evergreen just shot a man uh, uh, when it was Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. This week is past. We just, just, just shot him in the parking lot and stuff like that. 
People go hit him in roll wheels. They shoot him, one killing one another. People just dying. Don't not even know you should sure. dying at early age, 43 years of age, dying, just dying. All types of sickness going on in people's bodies and minds and set, yet they still don't want to live for you sure, how said. Going off into that burning hell and stupidity and foolishness. Can't say that you sure didn't give him a chance. Can't say that I mean, I didn't give him a chance. Mm -mm. People hear the word and reject it on a daily basis. I ain't doing it. Nah, -uh. gotta have my fun. Gotta have my fun. Tell people every day you got you got to have it sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. You gotta get it right. You gotta get married. You gotta stop doing this. You gotta stop doing that. You know, can you imagine how Lot felt? Huh? He had daughters and son in laws and grandchildren. That was there in Sodom and Gomorrah, he had, and Angel told him, get your family. So, and he, you know, he going out there telling him, look, God, get ready to destroy this city. You're getting ready to destroy it. You're getting ready to destroy it. Won't you, won't you, please, come on. Just, just come, come now. No, we're having a good time. Hey, God, what, you been drinking, old man? Are you stupid? Are you foolish? Are you high or something? Oh, Dad, get away from here. Son, no, get away from here. We, we, we're all right. See? Because look, what we do. Now, we're trying to warn our family. We're trying to warn everybody. Trying to tell everybody, you know, hey, look, you got to get it right. You got to, hey, you got to let sin go and stuff like that. And people are not uh, uh, hearing us. They're not paying attention to the words of God. They think that we're a bunch of old folk. They think we're stupid. They think we're foolish. They think that, oh, we think we're so high ourselves. think that we're so holy of ourselves. And they don't want to hear the word of God. Everybody had, come on. Yeah, we just party poopers and stuff like that. Right. And we're trying to sit up there and give them warning after one. Right. Lot was doing the same thing. He were. Oh, yes. Huh? Lord, oh, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Problems come and give warning, give warning. Destructions come, destructions come. But people don't want to take heed. They think that, oh, God's a pray thing. God don't exist. God ain't going to do this. God ain't going to do that. And God is steadily telling us the things that He's about to do and going to do. He gives warnings. Amen. But in our stupidity, we don't want to take key to the warnings. Amen. Yeah. Come on. To our way of thinking. We don't want to hear. We don't want to believe. Oh, let me hear this. I pray you, you should let me always have ears to hear. Yeah. Give me a heart always to hear you and, and obey you. He says, For the day had drawn near that they should be saved, but they wouldn't be saved. They should be. The word should. No, they should be. 
It means possibility of hope, of might. You say will be, because will is an exact. Should. Number three, and the elect one shall in those days sit on my throne. Talking about the Lord of hosts, obviously he's going to sit on his throne. And his mouth shall pour forth all the secrets of wisdom and counsel, for Yahweh of hosts has given to him and has esteemed him. Nothing but. Holy wisdom shall be coming out of the mouth of Yeshua HaMaseh. All the wisdom that Abu Yahweh has given shall be coming forth. And in those days the mountains shall leap like rams and the hills also shall skip like lambs satisfied with milk. And the faces of the messengers in the shaman of the heavens shall be lit up with joy. The messengers, the angels, they shall be what? Lit up with joy. Amen. In those days. Mm -hmm. And the earth shall rejoice mm -hmm. and the righteous shall dwell upon it. And the elect shall walk upon it. Yes, ma'am. 52. And after those days, in that place, which I had seen all the visions of that which is hidden, for I had been carried off in a whirlwind, and they had come, excuse me, and they had borne me toward the west. There, my eyes saw all the secret matters of the Shemlin of the heaven that shall be a mountain of iron and a mountain of copper and a mountain of silver and a mountain of gold and a mountain of soft metals and a mountain of lead. Yes. All these precious metals and different metals. And I asked the messenger who went with me, saying, What are these which I have seen in secret? He said, What is the meaning of all of this? He wanted to know. Okay. All these metals, all this material that is being shown to, they all have a purpose, they all have a specific meaning to them. A lot of things we just take for granted. We think the gold just for, you know, uh, uh, us to just glorify it and look at it. There's, there's a purpose to the gold. There's a purpose to the lead. There's yes. a purpose to the silver. Yes. These things didn't just happen by chance. And they're not just for the beautification of things. See, that's a, a specific reason why Abu Yahweh had the temple plated in gold. It wasn't just because of the beauty of it. There's a, a specific reason. Why he had certain vessels purified with gold. Why he had certain manure purified, just pure gold. Something symbolic. It's not just symbolic, it's a specific thing. Amen. Number four. And he said unto me, All these which you have seen shall serve the dominion of his anointed, that he may be potent and mighty on the earth. See, his power in these things. Mm 
And that he may have what power? That for the purposes of Yeshua HaMasek. See this? Things in these meadows that we don't look at in the, with the natural or in the flesh that we can't see nor can we comprehend nor can we understand. But they understand the power of that wealth. People think of it as, as, as greed, but it's power. Mm -hmm. Each one has a specific purpose, mm -hmm. a specific usage, which is a secret unto man. Mm -hmm. You sure he knows what their purposes are. There's a purpose for the gold. Why gold is more esteemed over silver? And why silver over tin and over lead? There's a purpose. Number five. And that messenger of peace answered, saying unto me, Wait a little. And there shall be revealed unto you all the secret matters which surround Yahweh of hosts. And these mountains which your eyes have seen, the mountain of iron, and the mountain of copper, and the mountain of silver, and the mountain of gold, and the mountain of lead, excuse me, of soft metals, and the mountain of lead, all these shall be in the presence of the elect one. As wax before the fire. And like the water which streams down above them. And they shall become powerless before his feet. They're going to ex extract all the power from these different things. And they're going to melt on down. It was just like wax. All power is being handed over to the left one, just to show how to say it. And it shall come to be in those days that none shall be saved, neither by gold or by silver, and none be able to escape. See, what? The wicked think that, you know, their wealth is going to save them. They think by gathering all the money, all the silver, and all the gold, the diamonds, and whatever not, they think that they can go up there and give God a bride, and that's going to save them. They think by the powers that they have extracted through these metals and through these materialistic things, that they can be saved, that they can be delivered. Yes, but it's not going to happen. Hallelujah. They shall become what powerless. Yes. Powerless. They shall have no power. No, sorry. And none shall be able to escape. All those walking in wickedness, all those walking in evil, shall not escape. We can have all the money in the world. You can't. Mm -hmm. Not gonna do you any good. Only escape the wrath of God. He says, and there shall be no iron for war, because they need iron and wealth to make their weapons and their war, you know, the bullets and all that, the metals that they see, this is all God's property, what people understand. See, without God's material, what can they make war with? How are you gonna make an atomic bomb if you don't have the materials from God? Everything comes from God. <coughs> But man thinks he's got it all. He thinks he got all the wisdom. He got all the knowledge. He don't have nothing. He's stupid. Yeah. The power we're taking. Take the power away from a bullet. Take the metal out of a bullet. What can a bullet do? Huh? Fire air blank. 
See all this, all this material, everything that was, the chairs that you were sitting on, you take the power of the wood, the strength of the wood out of it and stuff like that, you down on the ground. Maybe. If you take, if you take the earth away, the dirt away, everything is God's. Everything on this world is His. And yet people want to steal, they want to uh, 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 destroy, they want to take. And do what with it? What do you think that you can do with it? If God don't allow you to do anything with it, you can't do anything with it. Nothing. Nothing. Satan don't have any power. He can't do anything. You're limited. By a word, Satan be held in the grasp of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. By a word, only thing got, stop, and Satan can't move. But people want to serve that demonic thing. Want to obey it. Now, as I go through the scriptures and I go through Torah a lot of times and I look at the kings that they were conquered nations, amen, that served idol God and God had just, you know, given them victory over these nations. And you know, some of these stupid kings, well, you know what they would do? They stop serving God and serve the idol of the nation that they just conquered. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Went back. Went back. See, so they're talking about the stupidity of man. That's right. You bring your eye and you go right back. Right back yeah. into sin. The idol couldn't save the nation that you just conquered, but you're going to serve that idol that you just conquered. Stupid. Yeah. Got a lot of money, but that's the way it is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. No, excuse me, nor shall one clothe himself. Nor shall one clothe oneself with a breastplate. Bronze shall be cut, shall be of no service. And tin shall not be esteemed, and lead shall not be desired. And all those, excuse me, and all these shall be destroyed from the surface of the earth. When the elect one shall appear before the face of Yahweh of hosts. Of hosts. Everything that come before God and all the stuff that you, everybody told I had this, I need the diamonds, I need the gold, I need the silver, I need the money. All this is going to come to naught. In other words, it's going to come to nothing. All of it is going to be destroyed. Of what value is it then? Huh? Of what value? Yeah, I know we use money to buy things and everything like that. Like I'm saying, when you get a hold of it, put it to good use. Amen. Put it to good use. You put it to wisdom. And use it wisely, in other words. So if we don't use it wisely, it's going to come waste. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. It's going to come waste. I'm going to stop right there. Amen. And I'm going to turn it over back with the hands of the apostle. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But understand that all evil, all weakness, has got to be eradicated from my life. Yes, sir. That if we have any hope or any thought of making it to the kingdom of Abba Yahweh, we're going to have to live righteously. We're going to have to live holy. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Praise Praise Him. Hallelujah. Turn us over the hands of the apostle. Thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get your shirt some hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Another hand clap of praise.
praise him for that powerful message. Amen. amen. So he's letting us know, amen, that again, there's no sin will enter into the kingdom of Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Amen. Again, no sin will go unpunished. Amen. Amen. So I don't know about nobody else, but I don't want to keep nothing. Amen. God calls me. Amen. To go through that burning hell. Amen. Amen. I don't want to keep nothing and nobody. Amen. Amen. I don't want to hold on to nothing. Amen. That's going to take me to that burning Amen. hell. Yes, Lord. I'm just praying that's in your shoe to help me to loose everything and let go of everything. Yes. Amen. And, and just do what he'd like for me to do and live happy with your shoe. I'm going to see you. Yes. Amen. Because I tell you, amen, this world and living this world and being, this, being in this world. It's not going to get it. Amen. Amen. It's not going to make your sure happy. Amen. With us. Amen. Amen. By doing what we want to do. Amen. Amen. So I just appreciate your sure for the word. I'm not going to. Amen. I'm not going to add or take away. Amen. I'm not. I don't have anything else to say but. Amen. Make the announcement. Amen. And we getting ready to get out of here. Amen. I thank and I praise your sure. I'm going to see for each and every one of you. I praise Him for our views. Amen. I praise Him for them. I praise your sure for the word. And amen. For everybody. Amen. That came out today. Mother Hattie. Amen. Sister Hattie. Amen. Myself. Amen. Thank you. Praise for Chief Apostle Goldston. Amen. How he pressed his way on out here. Amen. Thank you. Praise your sure. Amen. How he touched his body. Yes, sir. Amen. Because I know you were struggling. Amen. To get here. Amen. And I just appreciate you, sure. Amen. This is the pure gospel of Jesus Christ, Messianic community. Amen. We would like to invite you to come and be with us right here at 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama. The zip 36445. Amen. We have service here every Friday evening. If it be the Lord's will, we'll be right here at 6 p.m. If it be the Lord's will, every Friday evening at the beginning of the Shabbat. We also have service on Saturday at 11 a.m., which is the seven-day Sabbath. Amen. We'll be right here again if it's the Lord's will. Amen. We also, amen, like to, amen, say if you would like to write us, you can write us. For whatever so reason, you can write us pure gospel. Of Jesus Christ, Macy and a Community, P.O. Box 824 of Monroeville, Alabama, the zip 36461. If you would like to call us, you can call us at area code 251-593-3683 or 251-593-3671. If you call us and we don't answer, leave your name and a detailed message. We will return your calls. If you would like to email Chief Apostle Normie Ghoster, his email address is jesusman at frontiernet.net. Again, if you would like to email Chief Apostle Normie Ghoster, it is jesusman at frontiernet.net. If you would like to email myself, Apostle Carrie Ghoster, it's jesuswoman at frontier.com. Again, if you would like to email myself, Amen. It is Jesus Woman at Frontier.com. Amen. And we would like to encourage you to pray, to have Bible study in your own home, have some repentance service in your own home. Amen. Have some church, in other words, in your own home. Amen. Amen. You know, amen. You know, God do not hear a son of prayer. Amen. I just want to just tell you the truth. Amen. You can read John 9 and 31. Amen. You want to get your sin under the blood and you want your surety, amen, to hear your prayer. Amen. Repent and stop sinning. Amen. And God will honor your prayers. Hallelujah. Come on, love your shoe. Hallelujah, Lord. And we also, amen, like for you to pray with us every evening at 6 p.m., every night at 9 p.m. Pray with us. Amen. We have so much to pray for. Amen. Amen. We have some more time that we do pray. We do talk to God. But these are some designated time that God has given us. Amen. And we've been doing this over, amen, 19 years. 
We've been doing this prayer over 19 years, and we can see the, the results, amen, that we've been praying for it. We've been seeing God, amen, people that have been missing 20, 30, 40 years dead, amen. But God is, amen, finding the killers, the murders. Oh, yes, he is. Amen. He found them, amen. And, and, and some of those that committed the murder, they dead and gone too, but yet they are being found. Amen. People are being loose. Come on, love you, sure. Amen. We appreciate you, sure. Amen. But what God is doing, because it encourages us to continue to pray. To pray, amen. Pray for the lost souls. Pray for the children. Amen. Pray for the parents that are having children now. Because we can see, amen, that we in a time, amen, that, amen, seems like the parents done lost it. People done lost it. Done lost the love for another human being. They don't lost the care for another human being. Yes, Lord. They love animals and things more than they love our life. <laughs> Hallelujah, our soul. And you know God is not pleased with this. God is not pleased with this thing that is going on. And we want to encourage you all. Talk to your children. Take time. Men, take time. Put down no phone. Put down no whiskey bottles. Hallelujah, that drug, hallelujah. Put down those whores that is not your wife. Put them down. Spend time with your family, your sons, your daughter. Yes. Get them into the houses of God. Yes. Stop letting everything else be before God. Stop putting in games and football games and basketball games and volleyball games and all of this stuff before God. Get them in the houses of God. Yes, Stop putting these parties before God. Yes. Get in the house of God and live right. Amen. Come on, love your shoe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't make everything out of God. Then you want to come in on ch church on Saturday and on Sunday, whenever you do go in. Amen. And then you want to think they, amen, you all of this and all of that, and you're not obeying the word of God. Yes, sir. Some of your Sunday school teachers, amen, you're lusting and you're on the right. Amen. Some of your pastors and bishops doing the same thing, homosexual and lesbians. But y'all think y'all doing God a favor. You're not doing God no favor by coming to church and not living right. Amen. And you ain't doing my favor if we are living right. Amen. We have it ourselves. Yes, sir. By being obedient to the word of God. On our reasonable service. And come on, love your sure people. Hallelujah. We have it ourselves when we obey God. Amen. We ain't hipping him. Uh-uh, because he don't need us. But we most definitely need him. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to, amen, encourage you. Get with your cheer. And search the book bags for your cheer to leave from school, from home. Search the book bag. I used to go to my children's book bag. I'd go to my grandchildren's book bag. We just do book bags search when they left from the house. Amen. Yes, we did. Amen. We would do book bag search. Amen. And when we got through search, and we would make them put them right down that sofa where we can see them at. They wouldn't slip them there, we'd do search. We used to check them out, make sure they ain't have nothing on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to do nowadays. Because you don't know who at the school bullying them. Hallelujah. You don't know who at the school bullying your children. You don't know who your children at the school bullying. Come on, love your children. Hallelujah. Get them in the church. Don't encourage your children to do wrong. Amen. If somebody messing with them, tell them to go tell uh, the principal. Talk to the teacher, somebody. Call the police. Mm -hmm. Don't take matters in your own hand. Come on, love your sure. Parents don't, parents don't encourage your children to do wrong. Don't encourage them to take knives and guns or pencils and things and stabbing people. Don't encourage your children to do wrong. Because you're going to have to pay for it. Amen. you going to have to stand before God. How we raise and teach these children and tell these children what to do. Do you hear me? Yes, Lord. You have to stand before God. Amen. Amen. I just want to put that out there. Amen. Pray. Pray for yourself. Up and down these highways and byways. Pray for yourself. Pray before you leave. Pray on your way back. Because somebody didn't make it back yesterday. Somebody didn't make it back this morning. Yes. They went to work and they didn't make it home. 
try to, amen, you have it, amen, disagreement with your husband, your wife, amen, or with your sisters and brother, whoever, amen, you holy virgins, animosity, get this stuff under the blood. Get this stuff under the blood. Don't go to bed angry and upset with one another. Get this stuff under the blood. Stop being, amen, going against the word of God. God told us, don't let the sun go down on our what? Wrath. Wrath. So we let the sun go down on our wrath. We are being what? Sent us. It's the truth in high. Amen. Amen. I appreciate your shoe. Amen. I would like to, amen, um, advertise and talk to you about, amen, our discount caster store and our green barrier. The discount caster store and the green barrier is right here at 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama. If you want more information, amen, you can call us at area code 251-593-8336. 251-593-8336. If you call, amen, and we don't answer, amen, leave a detailed message, amen, and we will get back in touch with you so you can make an appointment and we can go through everything with you. Amen. Later on, amen. By next week or sometime, we'll be appetizing. You'll be seeing live appetizing, amen, of the business that we've been talking about. You will see live appetizing, amen. We're going to put it out here for you to be a blessing to you. We love you all with the love of your shoe. Be safe. Get holy if you're not holy. Stay holy if you are holy. We love you all with the love of your shoe. Hamasia. Your hand must be let clean for fear. Let's give a hand.